Good afternoon. Uh, I realize I have not vlogged at all today. I'm pretty sure. Let me check that. Yes, I have not vlogged today at all. Um, I've been working. It's 2.45, so I have just about 2 hours and 15 minutes left of work. Um, all is going well. Oh, I just, my lip is, yep, my lip is bleeding. <laughs> I need to get better at, like, putting chapstick or something on, um, because winter is coming. Um, I've got a NOLA on my lap, and fun fact, it is NOLA's gotcha day, actually. So I got her three years ago today, as crazy as that is. So... The only thing is I am hungry and I would like to close the window. It's not super, super cold, but well, it feels okay in here. It is chilly outside, but since I've only got the one window open, it's fine. And I have to pee, but I can't get up because I don't want to make her get up. And yeah, I wanted to grab food like an hour ago. That didn't happen. Vlogging must be magical because she just got up now. So I'm going to get out for a second and then be right back. She might I steal I also my realized spot. that I accidentally forgot to do yoga yesterday, but I don't feel too bad about it since I had the photo shoot. So I was out and moving and all of that. Um, so at least that was better than so nothing. I am done with work. Um, I think I definitely waited too long to eat because like the last two hours of work, I was not necessarily tired, but I was definitely like, wow, I'm excited to be done with the day. I was tired. Um, and it helped after I ate a little bit. Um, but then I don't know if I like was sitting weirdly, but my neck, I can tell once again, it's like right at like the back. Well, it's a mix. It's my neck that sort of radiates up to my head, but I can also tell too, I should have gone to the eye doctor a few weeks ago when I have kind of been due for my yearly appointment. Um, cause I think my prescription needs to be bumped up one more, um, which doesn't surprise me cause you know. It, it's gonna happen so I can tell too that it's it's eye strain too I can tell that as well because you can you know when you can tell like where the pain is stemming from I can tell that it's it's partially eye strain and partially like right like up here right there from my neck somehow so anyway I don't really know where that came from but I took some leave and I finally drank some orange juice because I bought orange juice at the store and I was like, oh, I'll have a little bit of it like every day, you know, just during this, you know, the winter season, you know, want to make sure, you know, get my, make sure I'm getting that extra vitamin C. And of course I'm taking my, you know, handy dandy elderberry vitamins too, but you know, anything helps. And I got it a few days ago and I have yet until today to finally have some, but I'm also careful with that too, because I know that since... Hang on, I'm grabbing for the remote. Um, I know that, um, of course, orange juice has a lot of sugar. Whether it's natural sugar and added sugar or only natural, whatever it is, it's got a lot of sugar. And so that can raise your blood sugar. And then as your body tries to regulate it, it makes you tired. So I try to make sure that I only have, like, today I drank it out of this mug. And I filled up the mug to maybe here so like a little over halfway um just to be like okay you know not too much but enough plus I read too that I think one cup of orange juice is like twice the recommended daily intake of like vitamin c so doesn't take a lot of and this one says this orange juice I got which is Tropicana I think it says no no concentrate so it's not like watered down with concentrate it's like full on I think so that makes it even more so where it's like double the amount so anyway you know good good vitamin c I'm you know feeling totally fine I just I do have to admit that since after being sick last Christmas you know and I know I've, I've gotten my flu shot I've gotten my you know the most recent COVID booster you know I'm doing all I can and and all of that but I do have to admit just uh, like I've actually never been sick on Christmas before like maybe I'd had like the lingering of a cold but I, until last year, had never actually been sick on Christmas Eve and on Christmas. And that, it's my favorite holiday. 
And so I'm not going to lie. That was, and then of course my brother was sick too. So we were separated, you know, and which and there's been a year before where my brother, my brother couldn't actually get there. And if you've seen my vlogs for that long, you remember he couldn't actually get there until the 26th or 27th, I want to say. So we didn't actually really celebrate Christmas on Christmas day. And I'm not going to lie. That was, that was difficult for me to like process because, or for me to like, accept that change even though I was like of course it makes sense to do that because we want to celebrate all together but it was just a bit hard for my my brain to comprehend and get used to that change um but yeah I I mean us being separated last year my brother's sick with COVID my dad you know being with him my mom being with me and fortunately my dad didn't catch COVID from my brother and my mom didn't catch the flu from me but Man, I just, I really don't want a repeat of that. I really, throughout this whole season, would really just like to say, stay as healthy as humanly possible. And, you know, I know there's only so much I can do, but, you know, I'm, I'm going to be doing as much of that as I can to orange juice, elderberry, masking all over the place. It, you know, it, it's worth it. And sometimes I find myself in public situations where I'm like, Mm, like, do I really want to put it on? Like when I got my hair cut, unfortunately, that was okay. Same thing too with the um, holiday party at work. I know this is a really long clip, but it makes up for the fact because I didn't barely vlogged earlier today. Um, I decided not to mask in those areas. And fortunately, it ended up being okay. But um, I found out that my manager at work, who I was not sitting near during the party, but I did give her a hug. And thankfully, of course, everything was okay. But she was actually out sick for, I don't know if it was the entire week this past week, but the three days that I was there, Tuesday, you know, all of that, I, it was, uh, you know, she was sick. She was homesick. And so I'm glad she, she was because she wasn't there with us, but they really did rely on her in the back for decorating. And so they were falling behind and, but they would much rather have that, you know, they would much rather have her at home not infecting anybody else. And then they'd have more people out and then it would be more of an issue, right? You know, you got to think ahead. Um... But anyway, uh, but yeah, so I was glad. And then too, with my haircut, you know, my friend and stylist Eliza seemed totally fine. And I'm very grateful that she was, but I got to kind of get it through my head that I'm like, no, it, you know, no, you're gonna, you're gonna do it because it's gonna be worth it. And you know, or it would be worth it. And you'd be sitting here kicking yourself if you got sick and you were like, oh my gosh, was it because the one time, you know, okay, who knows? I am heading to bed. I'm really glad too, because I was getting a little worried at first because both of my neighbors are going out of town um, for some of when I'm going to be out of town. Like, just enough to where it doesn't... I Neither of them could watch NOLA while I'm gone. Um, but um, my friend from church, who doesn't live too far away, is going to watch NOLA while I'm gone in Texas. So, um, very grateful for that <laughs> because... I did I was I didn't know what I was gonna do if that wasn't the case I was gonna have to outsource majorly um anyway I'm heading to bed so thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed on the social media is in the description love you all